Hey, everybody, I'm Zach. And I'm Jesse. You're watching Tesla Time News. Episode 553 on Now You Know. Tesla now has job listings for 38 new CyberCab positions at Giga Texas. Everything from production supervisor CyberCab Press battery pack to tool and die specialist CyberCab Press. Well, that's awesome. I mean, I know that Elon stated at the Tesla shareholder meeting in November that CyberCab will start production in April, but it's exciting to see them hiring the team that's going to build it. Yeah, I mean, CyberCab is really coming. Really? Really? And Tesla is hiring in Austria for a vehicle operator in Austria. Quick, what's the capital of Austria? The, the hills are alive with the sound of music. Did you think the song has the capital of Austria in the lyrics? Uh, I, I don't know. I was just trying to jar my memory, uh, but I'm drawing a blank. You should have sung Vienna West by Billy Joel. Oh, yeah, Vienna. Or Wien if you're Austrian. If you guessed Vienna or Wien at home, give yourself two points. Well, if you guessed Wien, then you're probably Austrian and you shouldn't get any points because, of course, you know the capital of your own country. Uh, but what does Vienna? Oh, I see. The vehicle operator will be working in Vienna. Now, can we see some pictures of Vienna? Oh, man, that seems like an awesome job, doesn't it? Being chauffeured around all around Vienna in a Tesla. You should have to pay Tesla for that job. I'm sure, you still have to do paperwork. <laughs> but it'd definitely be beautiful. And it's another great sign that FSD is coming to Europe. As we've seen, Tesla hiring these FSD vehicle operators recently in Berlin and Prum, Germany, Prague in the Czech Republic, and Budapest in Hungary. Five cities now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thanks to Delete Me for sponsoring this episode. Give yourself the gift of protecting your privacy this year. You have the right to stay private. That's why I signed up for Delete Me a couple of years ago to protect my personal data, and Jesse didn't. <laughs> Delete Me is a hands-free subscription service that will remove your personal information that's being sold online. And let me just explain, I signed up so scientifically we could see if it worked, and it did. Delete Me found and removed my old addresses, past employers, and personal information about family. Once you sign up, you'll get a privacy report in seven days. Delete Me provides ongoing monitoring and reinitiates removal requests. You receive quarterly reports showing what information was found and removed. Data brokers can make your private details far more public than you'd expect. With so much information flying around, there are big risks, including increased risk of identity theft, lost jobs, relationship opportunities, unwanted marketing or spam, and even possibilities for discrimination. Delete Me has been the leading expert in personally identifiable information removal for over 15 years and was recently named by Wirecutter as the number one data removal service. So see for yourself. Get 20% off Delete Me's consumer plans when you go to joindeleteme.com slash NYK20. Use our code NYK20 at checkout or use the QR code on screen here. Thanks to Delete Me for sponsoring this episode. So get this, a little news from our neck of the woods. Robo-taxi validation cars have been spotted in Boston, Massachusetts and Lebanon, New Hampshire. Do you know what would be funny? What? If we took our Model Y and mounted a rig that looked just like that on the top and then we drove around all the country. <laughs> so everyone would be like, oh my gosh, it's coming everywhere. Tesla validation in North Dakota. <laughs> Maybe that's all it is. I guess you do need two cars. They they always travel in pairs. That's true. So we could put it on the Cybertruck too. Yeah. Then people would know we're I not. I think yeah. people would be able to figure that one out. And in the great state of Nevada, Tesla just completed its self-certification process. So that is the first step to rolling out RoboTaxi there. Tesla still needs further approval from the Nevada Transport Authority to launch the commercial RoboTaxi service. So I just looked through the NRS Chapter 706B regulations. That was fun. And it's just a simple application, actually. You got to pay a fee. There's insurance policies for each of the cars. And then you get a review by the NTA, which should take 15 working days. And then the permit must be issued within 30 days after that. So we could be looking at approval for Tesla by the end of this month, January at the latest. Wow. And Sweden just got its first mega pack. It arrived in Lodokoping last week and will be used to power a new supercharger location. The problem that happens at many superchargers where the electrical grid is not powerful enough is that Tesla can only provide version two or version three superchargers. Yeah, when you add a mega pack, the batteries in the mega pack can slowly charge up during off peak times and then provide full version four power when cars need it. So my guess is that we'll be seeing a lot more of this throughout the supercharger network, which should really help in congested spots. Because you don't necessarily need more supercharger charger stalls if you can get the EVs in and out fast enough. That's a really good point. And did anyone catch this post from Ashok Eliswamy, Tesla's head of autonomy the other day? Gary Tan, the Y Combinator's founder and CEO, posted this request for startup FSD for RVs. What is he talking about? He's referring to this post from Bogan Tunga's 
where he said, as soon as they figure out FSD for these RVs, I'm heading for the road full time. Oh, I see. Bogon wants an autonomous RV. Right. And then Ashuk responded saying, on it. And he posted that picture. Okay, so we already know that Tesla is planning on coming out with the Robovan or Robovan. Robovan. But do you think Ashok means that Tesla will also have an outfitted as an RV or a Reverbovan? <laughs> the Tesla or Reverbovan. What? What's the plural on that? Uh, no, my guess is that Tesla is going to leave the outfitting of the interior to third parties. But what do I know? Uh, we asked our patrons this week in the Patreon poll. So we'll see what they think in a couple minutes. All right, it's time for the Cybertruck Roundup. Yeah, The Cybertruck Roundup. And Tesla launched their first Cybertruck deliveries to customers on November 27th in South Korea. Wow, how many were delivered? Do you know? Uh, over 100 have arrived in the country of South Korea, but as far as I know, 30 were delivered on that first day of the delivery event. So that's pretty cool to think that uh, that many Cybertrucks are driving around in a completely different country. That's really neat. All right, it's time for some SpaceX news. And SpaceX just posted, we've received approval to develop Space Launch Complex 37 for Starship operations at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Construction has started. With three launch pads in Florida, Starship will be ready to support America's national security and Artemis goals as the world's premier spaceport continues to evolve to enable airport-like operations. Wow, that's really exciting. And Elon said, congrats, SpaceX team, and thank you, U.S. Space Force. You know, the approval took 22 months. And we're just talking the paperwork. <laughs> 20, that's almost two years. Yeah. Holy crap. All right, it's time for our Patreon bonus stories. Don't forget to head over to Patreon for our Patreon bonus stories and a chance to win the EVject Escape Connector. So go enter right now. We'll see you there. All right, we're back from our Patreon bonus stories. Time for the shout outs. These are the important people who keep the show going and the lights on. Who do we got today? Alexander Schmitz. Dennis Felix. Jack Hahn. Paper Maddock. Stephen John Ostwald. Thank you so much for supporting us. We can't do this job without you. All right, it's time for the poll. And we asked, will Tesla outfit the Robovan or the Robovan as an RV? And two thirds agreed with me. They think Tesla will leave the interior outfitting to third parties. Because, I mean, if we think about with like police cars. That's true. Upfits Tesla and others have done that. And and I feel like with Cybertruck, uh, even they couldn't even put the extended battery in the back, you know, so like they really aren't interested, it seems, doing anything custom wise. It's it's very common for Tesla to leave a lot of space available, mm. like in the front console of the Cybertruck. It's this big just volume I know. Um, and people can buy stuff to put in there, which I think is really smart because then you get to customize it. And with an RV, you absolutely want to customize exactly. it. You wouldn't want to oh, have the same Tesla camper that has the same one problem. All right, it's time for Elon's X's of the week. And Little Human's Big Impact says, would it be called Optimi? Elon says, since we're naming the singular, we will also name the plural. So Optimi it is. Ah, I've been wondering that for a while. I think Optimus is, is way more fun. <laughs> Optimus is. Optimus will be the von Neumann probe. Uh, I think this is a big deal. Uh, Grok, what does that mean? Tesla's humanoid robot could self-replicate using local resources, a concept inspired by John von Neumann's 1940s theoretical self-replicating machines, potentially revolutionizing space exploration by building infrastructure on Mars or asteroids without Earth resupply. <laughs> We're talking some real sci-fi stuff some now. real sci-fi stuff. Pierre Farragut says, define your TAM ambitiously. That is total addressable market. And Elon said, Galaxy Quest, Galaxy Mind is the goal. Okay, so we're... <laughs> We're a galaxy <laughs> sized company now. By grab Thar's hammer. Zero Hedge says Democrats sue after Trump cut SNAP benefits for alien migrants. And Amuse says, wait, I thought they weren't getting SNAP. Elon says every part of the government has been turned into a money magnet to import Dem voters. Look at Ilham Omar. It works like a charm. Libs of TikTok says our crime statistics are insanely skewed. Oh, interesting first name and last name for a white guy. And Elon says yes. Elon says we are part of a greater whole like the cells in our body. Hunter Ash says possibly my bleakest take that I hope is wrong is that government all suck now because nuclear weapons prevent war or even the credible threat of war between major powers. So there's no external evolutionary market pressure on governments to not suck. And then Elon says war is inevitable. Five years, 10 at most. Uh, that's even bleaker take. That's an wow. even bleaker take. American Experiment posted breaking Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison caught on tape pledging to help Somali fraudsters in exchange for campaign donations. And Joe Gebbia says, how deep does the fraud go? Elon said, very outright criminal fraud. Okay, another bleak X's of the week. <laughs> but you know what? Cheer yourself up, head on over to Patreon, enter to win the EVject Escape Connector, um, which is also kind of bleak in a way. <laughs> You can use it to escape an attacker. <laughs> which um, would be the positive part. Yes. And get our bonus stories, which I promise you today are far more fun. 
<laughs> we'll see you guys there over on Patreon. And thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Now you know.